Israeli ground forces say they have surrounded Gaza City as their aerial bombardment of the Hamas-controlled territory continues. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said, we will not relent until we achieve our goals, destroying Hamas, returning our hostages, and returning the security to our citizens and children. Netanyahu's vow to keep fighting came after he met with U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, who asked for a pause to allow aid into Gaza and civilians to escape. We provided Israel advice that only the best of friends can offer on how to minimize civilian deaths. President Biden has said the U.S. is working hard to find a way to get Americans safely out of Gaza. He reiterated that call Friday morning. President Biden, your message to Americans trying to get out of Gaza right now. The U.S. is also working to try to prevent others from joining the fight against Israel. We need to continue to prevent escalation of this conflict. It's spread to other areas. Israel says civilians in the north of the country were injured in a rocket attack from Lebanon. It responded by targeting Hezbollah infrastructure. Hezbollah's leaders threatened further attacks and criticized the U.S. for backing Israel. Friday, the Pentagon released photos showing the USS Eisenhower and USS Fort Strike groups taking position in the eastern Mediterranean near Israel. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin deployed these strike groups with orders to avert hostile attacks against Israel and to try to prevent the widening of the war between Israel and Hamas.